to Joining me now is a longtime actress and filmmaker who has acted in over 40 major motion pictures and television roles. Welcome to The Ed Show, Mika Borum. How are you doing, Mika? I'm good. Hello, hello. Nice to see your lovely face. Nice to see your lovely face. I was going to say welcome back to the to the Ed Show, but we just changed the name like in the middle of last season. I think you were on the Wendy Love Ed Show a few times and uh, it was always exciting to have you on. So thanks for Thank coming you. back. And now you're now you're narrowing down the, the name. Next time it'll be the E Show. <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> it might just be. That's a great idea. <laughs> so today we're talking about women in film and um, I'm really excited that you're here for this episode because I think you're kind of in a unique position having grown up in the film industry and uh, as an actress and then director, producer, writer, filmmaker, you've kind of been in many different roles. And so I wondered what your thoughts are about the availability of these roles for women and if it's more difficult for women in the industry. It's been really great recently because things have sort of started to level out. Uh, women are getting more recognition. And, um, you know, in the past, one of the, the big things for um, like on the directing and the production side of things would be that women were predominantly um, offered, uh, you know, to direct or do camera work or mm -hmm. produce films that people felt were very much of like a, a female, like nurturing nature, oh. um, you know, mm -hmm. or like a romantic love story or something about motherhood. And so um, the women that were doing a lot of work were sort of put into that kind of box mm -hmm. and that box has completely exploded, which is so cool. Like very cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're seeing, um, um, you know, women do all sorts of films and action films. And um, yeah, I mean, that's just been, been groundbreaking across the board. And then within that too, as women are sort of, um, you know, have been um, in the grounds up and building these projects and able to get them financed now. And these, um, as people are becoming more enthusiastic and like encouraged about these different projects, mm -hmm. um, you're getting these different characters for the actresses as well that are nice. a little bit more um, complex mm -hmm. and multidimensional. Yeah, it's a really important point that you bring up, you know, because Ange and I were talking in the last segment about some of the statistics and you know, there's been some movement um, upward for women in all these different roles, but not uh, in huge numbers, right? But this is an important aspect that you bring up uh, because I think that uh, even just, you know, generationally, women had all these expectations of being a mother, fulfilling those types of roles. And as we have recognized the complexity of women, we haven't seen that in film until now. That's so exciting to me. Totally, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And then to see those stories too, um, told from a, from a female perspective on the filmmaker side, I think is mm -hmm. interesting as well. Cause I think that you're going to, um, you know, just get more authentic casting and more authentic input when it's, you know, coming from the, the direct, narrative for those types of stories but yeah so that's been really cool and, and also too um it's starting to show you know as more people um have been making films with women and they're getting finances starting to show that there is profitability there because that was a big mm -hmm. thing too a long time ago as people were like well we don't know if there's profitability there you know mm -hmm. and, and we don't know and so um the more content that there is and the more that there's made um, cause not every movie is a success and not every movie is a good movie, but the, you sure. know, the, the larger, the larger, um, amount of content there is, the more likely that there is something that will land. And so just, um, that aspect of it too, just like the opportunity to have, um, a more vast content, like based around women and women making it gave, um, the opportunity to show people that, you know, it really could be fully, um, fully profitable and successful as, as anybody else, you know? So everything's just starting That's to great. level out. It's really yeah. cool. It's, mm -hmm. it's starting to, it's starting to level out and, um, you know, cause there's always been great female filmmakers and there's always been great male ones. And so now it's just sort of right. 
right and it's hard to show to demonstrate profitability if we haven't tried you know yeah yeah <laughs> right so it, it's good that we're we are seeing movement like i said the statistics are moving up it's just been very slow you know for uh, as far as the ratio of women to men in in these roles of producers directors etc um, do you have any advice for women who are really interested in being in the film industry especially on the production side um, I think, uh, well, a couple of things. I think one is you just start, you just start doing it in whatever way possible, whatever that means to you, you know, um, you have to start building and growing. And I think that, um, I think that showing that you're willing to do that is always a positive thing because on most sets, it's 14 hours, 12 hours, 10 hour days, mm -hmm. some are shorter, but you know, so I think that if you can show that you are enthusiastic and you're, and you're very much interested, I think that's a good start for it. And then um, one of the other things that's, that's happened um, that's opening up more as well is um, because there's more women in these positions, there's also more mentors. Mm -hmm. So very I think, good point. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think if you can find someone who, um, you know, uh, that's open to the idea where you can, you know, come help out, intern, mentorship, um, that sort of thing, I think is a really, a really good, um, a really good thing to do as well. Excellent. Excellent. So let's talk about some of your projects. I met you right before Hollywood.com was uh, premiered, I believe. And uh, on that project, you had so many different roles, my goodness. You wrote it, directed, produced, acted. How was that for you? That was awesome. It was so cool. It was so cool. It was funny though, because I um, uh, I got tripped up a little bit when I got to the section of directing and then at, like acting at the same time, oh, which wow. I didn't anticipate. I was like, whoa. Um, I feel we need like another the, Mika. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like the directors always sort of, uh, for the actors, you know, it's sort of your, your safety belt, you go out and you perform and you do the best you can and you do your interpretation and you really try to show up. But if something's not working or something's really off, then you have the director to be like, hey, like, that doesn't work or like, hey, let's try this. And so mm -hmm. you always sort of have them as this like guidance in there. And so that I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I was like, what do I do? And so on big productions, what they'll do is a lot of times um, the directors will do playback. So they'll record mm -hmm. it. And then they'll go over to the monitor and then they'll play back the scene, do their corrections and then come back and do it again. Um, but it's, uh, it's a lot of um, extra time spent mm -hmm. for the day. And then additionally, I don't know about other people, but for me, I, like, if I, I'm like, if I was gonna watch my staff and one of the other actors was like, hey, can I see that? I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and so then we just be like watching, you know, different people be watching performances. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I just cut that out all together. I was like, all right, we're just we're just doing it. We're just oh, cool. Going yeah. for it. And so I understand now the film is dubbed in Spanish. That's yes. exciting. Reach a, a larger audience. Yes. So um, we have the film fully dubbed in Spanish, and it's hilarious. It's so much fun in Spanish. Like, I. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I had such a good time watching it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So the the people uh, that we got to do the the dubbing, the doblando, um, are uh, from Mexico, and they uh, are animated. Um, they um, they work with cartoons and they do the voiceovers for animations. Mm -hmm. And so when they came through and they did the voices, each character is like maybe even spunkier than <laughs> what we're getting when we were talking original. in English. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's it's really funny. Nice. Um and so what's your most current project? Um so I just did a robot commercial which was fun. Cool. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know how much I wanted to say about it, but it was fun. It was like it was like the robot like rolled up and then like the robot uh yeah, it was funny and then they were operating the robot by a drone and so we were trying to try to work around the robot. Um nice. so technology so, which I, and I'm good I'm good for the future too right I'm like oh cool I can put this in my resume in 20 years I'll be like yeah I know how to do robots check yes. this out <laughs> I'll be ahead of the game um yeah so we just did that we've got the the movie um 
hollywood.com that we're releasing in Spanish down in Mexico in the theaters. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a charity event with that, um, where we're going to raise money for kids with cancer and put the whole premiere and, um, put the movie in there and just do that as like a big gala and have, a have a big event for it. So that'll be a fun fun kickoff for the film. Um, and then I've got another music video that I'm putting together. I'm not sure on the dates of it yet. I think we might have to push. We were, um, we had been going into production on it, but then, um, there were a couple of things that came up today actually, but, um, we've been exploring route 66, which I think would be so cool for a music video. Uh And, and, um, I actually, uh, have enjoyed so much too. I've been, I think it's called, is that hive sourcing? I've been like, hive sourcing through social media where I ask like friends, family, followers, like, Hey, like, what is it that you love on route 66 on the West oh. coast? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. That's and great. Um, we have, uh, so a fellow cannabis activist, uh, Miss Teddy, who, um, has been on the show. Uh, she was, uh, actually part of the show for a couple of seasons. She's been doing some live um, interviews of people about cannabis on Route 66 in New Mexico. And uh, that's been really fun to see her just kind of out on the street uh, talking with people. Um, So there's, I'm sure there's so many different things that people love, different restaurants and places to visit and just all kinds of things. That's going to be fantastic. Yeah. One of the most interesting things that came up so far was... um... There's this town, and I don't know if it's directly on Route 66 or right off, but called Oatman, and they have um, little donkeys. Donkeys? <laughs> no, they have little, <laughs> I don't know. They have little, apparently, they like, I don't know how they keep them there. It must be the snacks, but they've got <laughs> little donkeys <laughs> that just like peruse the town. And I'm like, okay, well, if we can get some little donkeys, like. There you go. <laughs> I like it. You know what they say, right? To sell things, you've got to have the T and the A. So that'd be the A. <laughs> Take care of that section. You're all set. You're ready yeah, to roll. All set. Yeah, I'm halfway there. <laughs> well, it's been absolutely delightful chatting with you. And I wish you so much luck on the Spanish release of Hollywood.com and the new music video, everything you're doing. Uh, we're, we just, Ant and I just love following you and seeing what you're up to. And, um, and, and really, I appreciate what a great representation you are of, of a woman in this industry who's just tried all different aspects and, and shown success. So congratulations on that as well. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm so honored to have you say that to me. That's really nice. Thank you. Cause I, I really true. admire you. I admire you and I admire my admire Angela. You guys are always out there doing cool, creative stuff. And thank yeah, you. It's awesome. We're all creators at, at heart, you know, doing different things oh there's my my friend created that for me (laughs) my guardian angel (laughs) (laughs) hey (laughs) Uh, do you have a link or website where people can get in touch with you yeah um so through through social media it's just under my name mika borum m-i-k-a-b-o-o-r-e-m um and i've got a website under under the same under the same name (laughs) that makes it really easy Yeah. (laughs) Thanks again for joining me, Mika. Thank you so much. Thank you.